there would hardly be a person who is unaware of novel coronavirus causing COVID-19 disease. If you have watched my earlier videos, you might know that RT-PCR, rapid antigen and rapid antibody tests are the most common tests for diagnosis of novel coronavirus. It has been observed that a negative RT-PCR report for COVID-19 is mandatory for air travel, sometimes by road and sometimes by rail travel. Some companies and institutes ask for negative reports for interview, joining and entry of their employees too. But why is it that every agency is recommending RT-PCR test over any other kind of test worldwide? So in today's video, I will focus on why RT-PCR tests are preferred over other tests. Hello and welcome back to Explore Bio. As you are aware that in rapid antigen test, the kit detects the presence of viral antigens using specific antibodies. Thus the detection reflects the actual viral load. Lower the virus in the sample, lesser the chances it gets detected by the kit. If the patient has recently suffered from novel coronavirus, then the viral load is low. It is only after few days the virus multiplied to a detectable limit for rapid antigen test to work. For mass screening and detection, rapid antigen tests have been recommended. But even the minute viral load is sufficient to spread to other people and infect them. Therefore, it is essential to use a technique that is much more sensitive than rapid antigen test. Therefore, administrators and doctors recommend a more sensitive RT-PCR test to detect even very low viral load in the suspect's body. The question must come to your mind, what makes RT-PCR test more sensitive? The answer lies in its working principle. In RT-PCR test, the viral RNA or cDNA is targeted and amplified several times with virus specific primers to make it detectable which was not possible with rapid antigen test. In simple terms, the viral signal is increased so that the machine detects it. It is only if the viral infection is very very low or absent, the result of RT-PCR report is negative. This is the biggest reason why RT-PCR test is recommended by most agencies to minimize the chances of virus spread to others at work and during travel. It should be remembered that the test should not be over 2-3 to three days old. Who knows if after the test the person gets infected. Therefore, a latest and not more than 72 hours old negative report of RT-PCR test is asked. So now you know why one should get RT-PCR test done. If you are really interested to learn how RT-PCR test actually works in detail with its working principle and how amplification of viral signal occurs, I highly encourage you to watch my video on it. In my rapid antibody test, I explained how antibodies developed after coronavirus infection are detected by rapid antibody kits. I have also made a detailed video on monoclonal antibodies. I have put all the links in the description below. If you like the video, do share with your friends. Comment about what new you learned today. Subscribe to know my other interesting videos. You should watch my playlist for videos on markers, PhD related topics, techniques and bioinformatics. At last, thanks for watching.